But is the is the answer banning guns like or or, or what is it? No, it is not. It is in fact putting uh, more guns out there with good people. Good people with guns is what stops bad guy with bad guys with guns every single time. In fact, the same gun that was used to slaughter six innocent people was a, was the same gun that was that killed the shooter. I mean, it was an it was an AR-15. It was mm-hmm. the same gun. Um, it's not banning guns. That is, in fact, the opposite of the problem. Uh, when it comes to say federal versus state, I would. I mean, I'm not obviously the biggest fan of federal regulation at times, but I think that could be the way to do it. Um, I know here in Nevada, uh, our new governor Joe Lombardo has kind of before he was elected, did say he supports teachers being allowed to carry in the classroom. A lot of states in some way have laws about that. I'm in favor of those. I think there needs to be extra training. I think there needs to be proper qualifications, but I think I I'm a, I do support that. I got to talk to you about that one because that's one I've, I've heard that one and I've gone back mm-hmm. and forth on it. Um, but sure. here's really the way I see it. And I think that I think it's difficult because I've heard conservative commentators where one day they'll talk about how Teachers are awful. They have these books talking about sex in their classroom and and they're teach, talking to kids about transgenderism from too young of an age. They're doing all these bad things, right? We have we have teachers that are that are or we have conservative commentators, especially that are talking about how teachers are doing all these bad things. Then the next day they'll say that teachers need guns in the class mm-hmm. to protect themselves. And I don't get that because to me, it's like if you either trust teachers or you do not. If you don't trust teachers to teach correctly. Uh, from conserv- from a conservative perspective, and I'm not saying this is what you believe, but if, that there are a lot of people sure, yeah. who don't trust that. So then how are you going to trust them with a gun with your kids? And, and here's the kind of the, what I'm getting at. Here's the way I see it, because I, I think we disagree here. The way I see it is that the way we, so, we, we at least be a little bit proactive on this issue is not necessarily by arming teachers. What I see is is a teacher already has a lot to worry about. They have 25 plus students in their classroom to worry about. They have the curriculum, making sure that there are some worry about making sure they're not uh, ticking off parents by, by teaching something wrong or anything like that. Some genuinely care about that. Um, they already have so much to worry about. Having a gun in their classroom doesn't necessarily need to add on to that. But what I do see is we have politicians, actors, famous bureaucrats and pundits, whatever, that are protected by people where it is their sole responsibility to be carrying a weapon and to be a bodyguard for that person. Why is it that we fund all those people, public officials, we fund their security, but our kids are protected by a sticker that has a red circle and an X through a gun. Why is it? Do the children not matter that much that we cannot pay for an armed guard in schools, a student, not just a student resource officer, an armed guard in schools? Why, why not that? Yeah, well, and I agree. I mean, and I think that is another aspect you can do. Um, Ted Cruz, I think it was last year or the year before, introduced a bill to allocate federal funds to that. And from what I understand, every single Democrat shot it down. Like every single Democrat voted no on it. And I agree. I think resource officers having guards in some way, that's a great start. And that is a, that is, is a way to do it. Um, however, looking at, I just saw this yesterday, uh, looking at a fact of uh, in Nashville, there was at least one armed staff member on campus or there's supposed I did to hear about that. Yep. Now, it's unknown if they were there. It's unknown what happened, but there was at least one. One can't be enough. Mm-hmm. Even two can't be enough. Schools are big. There is different points of, I mean, yes, it should only be one point of entry, but you never know if someone breaks in through a, a door, things like that. There's multiple points of entry. There's different ways. There's diff- different parts of the school. Knowing that at least one person in every, in every section has some way to defend not only themselves, but their their kids. I mean, I call my students my kids because that's how they are to me. I, they're mm-hmm. my responsibility in my classroom. Um, to protect their kids, that's what we need. Um, I get it's not pop. I, I think overall about 45% of adults only only support this. Um, they did a poll of the uh, one of the teachers' unions, like 75% of teachers were against it. I get it. It's not very popular. And I'm not saying you – have to carry. I don't like, I, cause I've seen people, you're saying you have to carry. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying you should have the choice to, if that takes, that's going to take extra training. That's going to take extra certification. That's going to take a lot of extra, but if you get all of that and you can prove consistently that you can do it, you should be able to have it because I will feel better knowing I have one in my room. Something does happen. I can protect myself and my students. 